So then guys, in 2024, we could be getting a new Mac Mini looking just like these renders that we've got right here. So that's right guys, with design leaks coming in all over the place for new Apple products, what about the Mac Mini? Because the Mac Mini, believe it or not, hasn't actually had an update in its design in probably about 14, 15 years now. We've had essentially the same design ever since the late 2000s and obviously back then as you can see right here we did have a DVD drive and that disappeared a year or two later but essentially the design has stayed exactly the same since then. But it does look like that this year in 2024 a brand new design for the Mac Mini is finally coming. As you can see here from the leaks and rumours that have come in it definitely looks like that Apple are finally going to update the design of the Mac Mini and it's going to be a smaller factor Mac Mini than the current design that we have right now. One thing that's actually quite interesting about the Mac Mini at the moment is its actual dimensions here are exactly the same as the Mac Studio. So everything apart from the actual height is exactly the same and yet we can fit things like the equivalent of the M2 Max and even the M2 Ultra onto this footprint. And as you know right now the equivalent of like say the M2 that's in the current Mac Mini, well that's far more smaller. So this definitely gives Apple the opportunity to make a far smaller Mac Mini. And in fact, we even had people like Snazzy Labs here in the past made a smaller Mac Mini design in their own sort of 3D printed and it was absolutely tiny. So really, now is the time that we could actually see a brand new design for it. And in fact, in the past, the likes of John Prozer, when he was giving out lots of leaks and rumours back then, he was actually telling us that we would be getting a brand new design very similar to these renders that you're seeing right now and this could still potentially be a design that the new Mac Mini will be based on. Now one sad thing was that obviously since this design came out back in 2021, 2022, whenever it was, obviously Minchi Kuo actually came along and said actually Apple had abandoned this whole idea of updating the design. But obviously the new leaks and rumours that we just saw just there obviously say that we are going to get a new design and it's going to definitely be smaller. And one of the big key changes of the design of this Mac Mini has got to be the USB-C ports that are going to be on the rear of it. We've actually had this new leak and rumour coming recently what says that we're actually going to be missing all of the USB-A ports on the back and this time this is going to be switched out for five times USB-C ports. Whether this is going to be five times USB 4 ports or a mixture of those USB 4 Thunderbolt 4 ports and normal USB 3.0 or 3.2 ports what Apple provide right now, we're not quite sure. But it does look like potentially Apple could abandon all of these USB ports, the normal standard size ones on the rear. Now one thing this design also looks like is a bit like the original Apple TV what came out years ago. And to be deadly honest with the likes of say Snazzy Lab making a smaller design Mac Mini out there and obviously these designs you can see here. Personally, even though we've got the Mac Mini, we could get a design very similar to the current Apple TV. At the end of the day, if I just show you the rear here, we do have the power in, we do also have the HDMI. And what could potentially happen is, Apple could make a design maybe a little bit bigger than this, fit a few more USB ports, maybe on the front and also on the rear, and also the HDMI and also the power supply too. And yeah, it could actually be really, really good potential here that we could actually get this. The other thing that Apple could also do is they could make a power supply for the brand new Mac Mini, very similar to the iMac where they could actually move the Ethernet port to the actual power supply if they wanted to do that. This again would eliminate putting that port into the actual design of this, keeping the design even smaller and I think this is a really, really good potential what Apple could be really doing here with the design of the brand new Mac Mini. Now we've already seen the power of the M4 and the likes of the iPad Pro and it is a real, real powerhouse and it's also far more efficient and it doesn't get as hot as the likes of say the M3, the M2 and things like this. So Apple don't need to put such a big fan inside the likes of this and then for the M4 Pro I can imagine the power for this is going to be far more than we have the likes of the M3 Pro but obviously this I reckon will be using less heat and things like this too what will really really help out in the new design. One thing that we've also been told is likely that the new base models are going to have an uppage in RAM amounts. We've had this leak and rumour come in here showing us that the potential of the M4 Max will actually have 16 gigabytes of RAM. Looking at developers notes they're actually not showing any likes of anything to say of a 8 gigabytes of RAM option just only the option of 16 and 32 gigabytes. 
gigs. Whether this is just for developers or not, but there hasn't been any signs of any 8 gigs or 12 gig kind of models. So at last, it looks like Apple could potentially be putting 16 gigabytes of RAM as the lowest amount that we could be getting inside the Mac Mini, what is absolutely amazing. And if you possibly want to get your hands on another M4 device before then, well, you should enter into the giveaway we're doing on this channel for this iPad Pro M4 with 512 gigabytes of RAM inside of it, happening at the end of September time. So that's right guys, I'm going to be giving away this iPad Pro in the end of September, it's only a couple of weeks away, to one lucky subscriber on this channel. And all you have to do to enter into this giveaway for this 13 inch model is just put down in the comments below of what technology you're hoping to get in 2024. Whether this be Apple related or not, just put it down into the comments below right right now. And the other thing to mention as well, because I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because near the end of September I'll be making a video giving a few more details about the giveaway, a little form to fill in too, and also the day of the actual live stream I'll be doing for this iPad Pro giveaway. So you don't want to miss out on that. The other thing to mention is I'm also going to be giving away this too. This here is the Magic Keyboard. So I'm also going to be giving this away with this iPad Pro to get you started, that lucky subscriber. So yeah, this is included too. The other thing I just want to quickly say to you guys is sadly there are still lots of scammers and spammers out there. People still impersonating me, telling you to WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, direct message, all of this sort of things. Please do ignore them. Or oh, well, better still, you can see right here, please do report them. So next of all then, what about the actual release date and then potentially the price of the new Mac Mini M4 and the M4 Pro? Well, we've been told that most likely we're gonna be having another Apple event before the end of 2024. And most likely this is targeted to be between mid-October to the end of October time. This is when Apple are going to do this. So anywhere between the late teens to the sort of late sort of 20 sort of time is when Apple gonna do this. Very similar to what they did last year. They had the scary fast event on October 30th, the day before Halloween. And then obviously the products came out a few days later into the early part of November time. And it looks like most likely Apple are on the same path here with the Mac Mini and a few other Macs too. So yeah, this is probably gonna be the time we're gonna be able to get our hands on the brand new Mac Mini M4 and the M4 Pro. And the great thing is at the time of making this video, we're only talking about a month and a half away from now. So that's absolutely fantastic fantastic news to hear. For price wise, most likely the Mac Mini for both the models, the M4 and also the M4 Pro, will probably stay around about the same price this time round. The great thing is obviously the Mac manufacturing process should be a bit more smaller and slimmer and things like this, but I couldn't imagine actually the price going up too much. If not, it'd probably stay exactly the same for the M4 from the M2 and also the same from the M2 Pro to the M4 Pro. There probably shouldn't be any sort of changes in the price and if there are we're going to be talking maybe probably a 50 or 100 dollar price rise there on both the models but potentially that is going to be it here what we're going to see but there we go guys those are the kind of first looks we got on the m4 mac mini and the m4 pro mac mini what are your thoughts are you going to be saving up and getting yourself one of these new models let me know your thoughts in the comments below and also guys it's time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and also if you want to hear the latest Apple news reviews and comparisons too make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys I'll see you really soon take care bye bye